Hi everyone, today I want to talk about uh, your companion, your chocobo, um, how to level uh, him up, and uh, I'm going to also talk about the skills and everything else that comes with it. So first of all, the first thing you want to do is to go to your character over here, and then click companion. Boom, you're going to have um, like a window about your companion, So, and you're going to see here you have um, actions, skill, appearance so let's talk about actions first so first of all what I suggest you to do if you want to is to put all these uh, command command spell uh, over here like on a on your you know like on one of your spell bars so basically um, follow well uh, you know it follows you free stance it means that it, it will do whatever he feels best to do in the present in the situation you're at so it can DPS heal or tank depending uh, you know the situation so right now he's on defending still uh, stance and you can see the the icon over here that shows when you choose that um, you cannot like you see if I click it, it doesn't work it really has to be sorry on your spell bar so here healer stance boom as you can see it changed to healing stance and you have attacking stance whoop sorry what am I doing uh, over here attack no that's free stance attacker stance now he's on Oh, did he just heal me? Did he just... Oh, okay, Choco Regen. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, so uh, attacking stance. So basically, another thing I need to mention. These are his skill. Um, as you can see here, um, this is the def defender skills bar. This is the healing bar. And this is the attacking bar. Uh, attacker ability bar. Why do I say that? It means that if you say you put him on attack attacker stance, he will only use um, the attacking bar spells that you chose. So basically I have this guy, this guy, and this guy. So I have order chocobos to deliver an attack with a potency of 150, increase companion strength by 5%, uh, increase companion HP by 5%. So basically if you take attacking attacking stance, he will have all these the you know these three traits that you pick right so if you go on uh, healer stance he's gonna be on choco region uh, and um, he's gonna have his mind attribute uh, upgraded by 10 percent and this one is increased companion HP by 5 percent I didn't pick it I could pick it right now because it would cost me three uh, skill points by the way skill points you acquire them when you um, as you level up your chocobo so I had like I think I had like 15 skill uh, 16 skill points I believe at start and then I picked those two over here these two over here and these three over here okay so let's say you choose I don't know uh, healing healer stance so now he's on healer stance uh, I believe he will be using regen at some point whenever he feels like to <laughs> wait let me let me see if he does that because uh, he should do it right now, but he doesn't do it, so let me attack this guy, see what happens. Yeah, he, see, he's not attacking. He's not attacking. So... I think he's gonna heal me, I'm not sure. Oh shit, he did. <laughs> so, uh, he, see, so that's my Choco regen, so he, he actually put <laughs> regen on me. That's very nice, thank you very much, I appreciate Okay, and if I choose, let's say, attacker stance, boom, now he's gonna attack. That's a lot of damage he's doing, by the way, because uh, um, because before I didn't have any, uh, I did I did not put any skill points on anything over here because I, you know, I just didn't know that this this window actually existed until just recently so I had like a lot of skill points to use so now he's he's able to use a specific uh, uh, abilities that improves his DPS improve his defense defense improve his uh, you know healing whatever so that it depends what who you what you're doing so depends what you need him for appearance I'll talk about it later so yeah action um, I suggest that you put um, even withdraw I even put it here the reason you want to withdraw, um, there are some reasons. Uh, right now, you see, I, I am on my blue mage. My blue mage is uh, level 46, and sometimes when I need to steal a spell, 
I need to la I need to land the last blow in order to steal the enemy spell. But the problem is when my chocobo, when he was attacking, sometimes he would land the last the last hit on the enemy, meaning that I would not get the spell, which is why it's good to you know withdraw him in order for you to get the last spell. Uh, I mean the sorry the last hit on the enemy to steal the spell. But that's specifically for the blue mage. You know if you let's say you I don't know, let's say you don't want him for any other reasons, then you can withdraw him, you know, but uh, it depends, you know. Also, withdraw is necessary if you stable your pet. So if you go to your stable and you don't withdraw him, like now, in in the open world, once you go to your stable, uh, you will not be able to stable, to put him in a stable, because it's going to say, uh, cannot stable your companion uh, while he is summoned. So right now he is summoned. In order to remove him, you need to withdraw him like this. And now you can go to your stable and then you can stable him. It will work. Now this is something very important that some people don't know. So I wanted to sh share that with you. Now you want to resummon him. You use this this Giza green that you, per you should have. You should purchase it from the vendor who sells that. And there you go. He's back. So uh, I'm going to try to put him on defending step. Uh, defend... Um, not free defending here so defending still stands and let's see what he does what skill I put I have order check with deliver an attack with a okay so he will is the same thing as this one so he will attack for 150 increase companion strength by 5% same thing as over here okay improve health by 10% 5% and 5% so basically if I pick this guy he's gonna have 10% more health but I don't want... Uh, let me see, do I want to? Maybe I should take Tanky. Because he will... You know, reduce damage taken, yeah. Because sometimes when I farm or when I do fades, it's good for him to have more health, you know? Uh, I'm thinking, which one do I want? Because it, because you see, you have to be... You have to choose wisely, otherwise you're gonna waste your skill points. So I got I got to look what what I need. I, I wanted to take this guy over here like um, DPS, but now I'm rethinking. Do an attack with a put this in 130. What is this? Increase companion attack speed 10%. Order check with deliver an attack with a put in 170 in a cone. So that's AOE. There's a 10% speed. Does he have a speed over here? Let me see. Critical hit. Slow, 130 AA potency, for accuracy 5%, reduce damage 15, oh that's good. Uh, yeah, increase companion HP by 10% again. What do we, so that's an AOE spell. All I mean a cone before, it. yeah, but he doesn't have speed. See this guy, he has speed, so he'll be attacking faster, so... But he'll be less tanky than this guy, so... Wait, which branch do I want to go to? I will decide later. Anyway, the point of this is to let you know that these are good. You know, if, if, if you don't care, just put this guy free stance. And your chocobo will decide what he wants to do. So he will defend, he will heal, and he will DPS, depending on the situation. Let's try that, like right here. Now he's attacking, I guess. But let's say I attack. If I attack and I get I I lose health. Let me see if he's gonna heal me. Come on, attack me, god damn it. And he is, he just <laughs> he just put a regen on me as I was losing losing like just a little bit of health. That's very good actually. So okay then let, let Oh. Did he just he petrified us, god damn it. So basically free stance is pretty good because he does everything. Yeah. Let's see. I wanna lose more health. He's putting regen on himself. There you go. So he's putting regen on him on, on himself. So free stance is pretty good if you don't want to bother, you know, to decide which stance you want. So I'm gonna put him in first. Uh, defensive over here, attacking over here, healing stance over here, follow over here, and withdraw over here. Okay, so I can do this like this. 
but right now he's on free stance is he yeah free stance uh, yeah so what else so in order to level him up like I said you can either kill mobs but you see these are 40 level 40 mobs and I am level 46 so you're gonna see here as you can see it he does 366 experience point so which is not a lot there's which is okay but if you go like you know if you go to um, wait oh I just sold something for 23k all right why I cannot execute at this time let me oh because he's on the stance is that one second is it why am I not allowed wait 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 or maybe I should follow no okay there's something he doesn't allow me to mount him oh because I have uh, somebody here that I need to kill is that correct is that why let me see Wait a second, no, it's someone even further than that. Okay, one second, guys, I just need to... Is it this guy? What the hell? I don't even know what that is, honestly. Pain stool. Oh, maybe it was a bus, let me see. Is it? Wait, let me see. I just need to mount. Sorry, guys. I want to show you something here, but wait. And also, one thing: uh, your chocobo will only attack your target if you use like this guy. Well, on my blue mage, if I use water cannon, cannon. So because this is my personal uh, weapon, so if I use Oh, wait, right. can I mount? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yep, so there was a. So if I use other spell, my chocobo will not attack because these are like stolen spell from um, spell from other NPC uh, enemies. So just let you know if you play on a blue mage, if you want a chocobo to assist you, you need to use water cannon. I mean, if you want him to DPS. Anyway, so what I was saying is that it, I suggest that you go uh, attack mobs two levels higher than you. So I'm level 40. 6 so 47 would be I think I know where it is uh, I think it's here one second there I just want to show you the difference of exp you will make when you attack someone who's like that's 49 yeah this way when you attack mobs that are like two levels higher you don't you don't want to attack mobs that are that are like three levels because what well, you could but I don't suggest it because it's it's a it's a big risk I did it before and I was a, and I was having a hard time wait what level is he okay 49 wait 46 47 wait a second 46 47 I need 48 I could do 49 but that's 37 hmm one second 39 Oh, I think up. I think up there. I think. Let me. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. I, I just want to show you the uh, the difference of exp. So I need to attack someone who's like. Wait, let me see. Forty-eight. Oh shit. Okay, forty-eight. That's good. All right. Okay. I'm gonna give him some more here. I'm gonna give him a free stance, and I will attack this guy over here. Wait, no, whoop! All right, let's go. Huh? All right. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. 
So now, 855, you see? That's way more than 366 e uh, EXP for your companion. And if you keep doing that, well, you're gonna, you know, level up pretty fast. That's how I leveled up my, my, uh, my Chocobo. I still always attack someone who's two level higher than you. Okay, so I just want to show you. The other way to level up your Chocobo, and I'll show you right now if you want, is to go at the, your um, stable. Uh, it won't be long. This is loaded. I removed the music because it was annoying me. So, uh, <laughs> sorry for that. So now you go to. I'm, I'm at. Um, you have to go to res your residential district, uh, res yeah, residential district, Ethernet, and go to travel toward apartment. That's right, and this is where I am. Uh, that's assuming you did the quest to go to lavender beds, and uh, everybody. I mean, you should. If you're by, if you're level my level, you should have done that like long time ago. And now you want to go to your apartment, but to do so, I need to go here. And Lily Hills. And the reason Lily Hills because the stable is over here and it's free when you have an apartment. Assuming you have an apartment. If you don't have an apartment, uh, which cause uh, then you cannot have a stable. Now I was saying the second way to to uh, level up your companion is to actually stable him. So oh shit, see it will not work. Look. You cannot stable your checkbook while he is summoned. That's because I forgot to dismiss him, which is why I told you at the start to withdraw him like this. And now it should work. Stable my chocobo. There you go. It works. See? So uh, this, I was saying, now you go to 10 my chocobo. And, ah, oh, shit. Train. I wanted to show you. Just give me a little two minute. I'm going to skip that time. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So basically, um, what I want to show you is like, when you click train over here, boom, uh, it's gonna ask you um, to feed, uh, to to give him something, a reward. So I have the choice to give him Kraka Root, which came with the quest that I did before, um, and also I bought this on the uh, market marketplace, which is Silk is bought, which wasn't too expensive, twenty for six thousand gil so I'm gonna give him this guy over here and watch watch uh, closely in the middle here it's gonna tell you how much XP I made for him oh wait there's a cutscene first I forgot <laughs> now he's eating it there you go and he's happy <laughs> Now it's gonna tell you how much XP I made. Four thousand four hundred and ten, uh, four hundred four thousand XP technically. And you see, there's a timer that says you cannot train him for another hour. Meeting you have, you can all you can do is to you can either leave and hit, leave him there, or you can fetch him. Uh, by fetching him, well, it's gonna you're gonna take him back with you, like this. So now you. Okay, sorry about that. That's just my alarm. Okay, so that basically I, I I I can now resummon my chocobo while I go in the open world, because see, this is a mistake that some people do. They forgot to fetch him. If you don't fetch him and you leave him there, and let's say you go back in the open world to the farm or quest, your chocobo will not be with you. He will be in the stable still waiting, you know, for nothing. So that's why you need to fetch him, and then you go back and you know quest farm and then level him up, level him up, you know, by questing uh, and killing. NPC enemies that are two levels higher than you trust me. That's the best thing you can do and then in an hour you put your alarm over here And I'm gonna put an hour more And I'm gonna say let me know in like 10 minutes in advance. Well, I'm just gonna put 10 there we go Confirm so that means at 2 20 p.m. My time uh, It will Tell me you know like it's gonna ring and then I'm gonna come back over here and then I'm gonna you know, restable him again, stable my chocobo, you know, well, I'm not going to do it because there's no point to it, unless you want to feed him with uh, snacks, or unless you want to, I don't know, unless you want to do something else, you know, uh, with him, 
You can also tend to another chocobo. So let's say you play with your friends and you want to tend to them. Oh, there's two other people over here. Uh, that that is okay. In the same using the okay, that's cool. I could really ready, but I have to give them something. Oh, so that's what it is. <laughs> so if I want to, if I want to tend to someone's animal, then I can I can I can do it for them by using my own food. So if I want to, let's say help level up my brother's uh, chocobo if let's say I play with my little brother then I can do this you know to help since my brother is not playing I can actually do it for him you know so that's one benefit of the the stable you know what I'm saying but he needs to be in the same he needs to, he needs to be renting the same room as I otherwise it will not work that's what I understand uh, so yeah that's it guys so those are the ways to level up your chocobo so right now I didn't st okay, so right now I'm going to go back in the open world. Um, let me see. Uh, where was I a few seconds ago? I was in Central Shroud. Okay. No, no, I wasn't there. I was in this guy over here. I'm just going to show you. Because the thing is, 4,000 is, is okay, but, I mean, that's equivalent to, like, four mobs. Because, you see, the mob that I attack, it gave me, uh, it gave me almost 1,000 a thousand, a thousand, um, EXP. So, s doing the stable, it's, you know, stabling, it, it, uh, to stable your pet, uh, your companion is okay. But, if you really want to level, level faster, I suggest that you just, you know, uh, go attack mobs that are two levels higher than you, find a spot, and just keep grinding grinding and grinding that's what I've been doing for like day uh, two days and yeah that's about it uh, also just to let you know when you feed him it doesn't matter if you feed him with this guy or this guy or any other you know um, feeding vegetable because there's like five type of vegetable then and, and to give you the answer is you have cure cure yeah curio cure your roots Curiel roots, I forgot, you know, C-U-R-I-E-L, and then root. Uh, you also have Silky's Bud, uh, the one that I have. You have Mimet Gourd. You have Tental Plant. You have Pasana Fruit and Kraka Roots. And that's the Kraka Roots that comes with a quest for free. And uh, yeah, so some of them are quite expensive. And you say, what's the difference? Well, there's a difference because some, of, from, some, some um, food will give you uh, a certain buff after you have feed them with 10 uh, specific food let's say I give him I feed him with 10 of this it will become considered as his favorite food and he will get a 10 percent uh, 10 percent buff while you are in the open world uh, like a 10 percent buff for attack DPS but if I feed him with this guy 10 times uh, he will get a 10 percent extra buff for uh, exp you understand what I'm saying so that's it. So if you feed him ten, 10 times of this, once you come back on the open world, you'll get 10% uh, extra attack power. But if it's this guy, you get 10% extra uh, EXP only. And the, the other fruits is like the one for HP. The other one is for, uh, what is it? Wait, wait. Uh, it says one for HP. One for maximum HP, so basically for tanking. So if you want him to have more tank, tanking, and you also have one for enmity. Enmity is to have more aggro. If you want him to have more aggro, then you have to eat a specific fruits, a vegetable. Uh, I think it's a, it's called pasana fruit. Yeah, pasana fruit. But you, you just Google search it. Google search it on Wiki. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy fourteen chocobo. Uh, ra ra raising and it's, it's gonna tell you the fruits and what it does and everything so yeah guys so that's pretty much it I'm not sure if I forget anything don't forget to um, always check your skill points you have any you want to use then you know you want to choose which one you want don't forget it this is one it costs one this costs two this costs three this costs four five and so on and so on so whenever you spend your SP make sure you spend it wisely depending on what you're you're gonna need him, him to do and depending on your class or if you're a DPS you need a healer then you know this one if you're a tank and you need a DPS then you know you want this one 
And if I'm a he I'm a healer, so I should take t I should take defender, I think, or attacker. So I have the choice. I'll see what I want to do. And yeah, that's about it, guys. If you like this video and if it uh, helped you in any way, please let me know uh, by liking and subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Cheers.